Hello guys, it's Paula. I'm back this evening to show you my next project. Now, Easter's around the corner, especially if you're making books or journals. Um, I want to make about two or three journals for Easter. So that is my next project. In between each book, we'll still try to do a page if we, if we can. That's my plan. Okay. I'm going to show you the three Easter books I'm, I'm going to make. And um, I ran into a problem, which I hadn't thought about until I had the book already, had the paper all laid out, and it was when I was about to cut the paper that I, I realized it. I mean, I've, I have prepped all three books, except I have not took the binding off of the other two books, but... This is book number one. It is The Tale of Peter Rabbit. It's going to have a, um, let me see what size this is real quick. I believe it's one and um, three-fourths, but let me check. It is one and three-fourths. That's what this spine size is. And um, so... This book measures seven and three fourths by seven and one fourth, just slightly over seven and one fourth, just barely. And um, this is what the binding is going to look like. I haven't decided on any ribbon or anything. This is little tiny rosebuds on this pretty blue, little pink rosebuds, which I thought because he has on a blue jacket would be would be nice. Now, because we have to do the binding, this portion right here will be covered. Let me show you. My papers are sliding out right here. Um, and that's okay, and we're going to do something here. I haven't decided yet what it will be. Uh, I kind of have some ideas. All right, so that's the binding size and the fabric. Now, and I told you the size of the book. So what I discovered was, um, your paper's not this big. <laughs> now, I haven't done any paper in here except the cardstock right now. And I had decided I was going to do five sheets of cardstock per signature, which would be ten total, right? And because I there were so many pastel colors I wanted to do and I wanted blue in here now listen as far as blues and pinks and yellows and all of the colors that I'm using They don't have to match perfect. They don't have to match the binding perfect. Okay They're from all kinds of sets of paper so I can't really tell you what the papers are because a lot of them were in Ziploc bags and a lot of them were in paper pads. So, this uh, on this tale of Peter Rabbit, the inside of the books, I'm going to show you what they look like. I'm sure I've already done this, but I, I'm just going to show you quickly for this video purpose. They're all pop-ups, okay? Now, I have typed the story in typewriter font um, to include in this book, but I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do it yet. So, um, it may just be on a page or two in the back because this is primarily a journal, an Easter journal. Now, the Tell a Peter Rabbit is not an Easter story, but I will be adding a few Easter embellishments like a bunny or a chick or you know, something like that. And um, that's the plan on this one. I may do a collage-like thing here to cover the title up. Um, I'm not sure. But isn't the cover pretty? I mean, seriously, think about it. How pretty is that? The back is even pretty. So, I had never considered doing a pop-up book or one this size. But, I have, back when I first started, I would do little golden books, and I would cut them out of the book, and they would end up being single pages, 
and I'd be like, I'm doing something wrong because how am I going to bind these single pages into uh, the spine? Well, I would add a muslin because it was sturdy and strong. But I have found since then that, you know, you don't have to do that. Now, I have not inked these pages, but I've got them cut out, okay? This is the paper that's going to go inside the book, right here, okay? Now, this has pink and blue and yellow and red uh, and green, and then it's, you know, trimmed in black. So, that's the inside of the book. Well, because I wanted to take the darkest color to transfer over to the front, the first signature, I, I uh, did it in navy. But I got to show you this and tell you this. Um, so I cut the first page, and that's when I realized, well, that's not going to fit. How am I going to stitch that into the spine? Uh... You know, I've kind of been under the weather this week, but I thought, hmm, you weren't thinking. So I decided to cut another navy type. It doesn't have to be the same one um, for the other side. And I happen to have the same paper. And so this is the, if I, just pretend this is on the fold. Pretend this is a fold. So it would be like every other journal. Of course, you'll include your other papers. And then when you flip it over, it'll go to this page. Uh, I cut out a two inch spine. I have not glued any of them yet. I wanted to show you how it works. This is folded. I folded the two inch in half and you can pick any color you want. I coordinated the first page in the book, but uh, the rest of them I kind of swapped out the different prints. Um, so when this is glued down, I'm thinking, rather than gluing, I'm thinking of stitching. I'll put some glue back here, but I'm gonna stitch, I think. Um, I just gotta decide what color to stitch in. I may just use white because there's so many colors in the kit. Straighten my pages back up. Now, so I can't actually show you how this is going to work very neatly because it's not glued together, but it's going to be like this whenever, but not like that. I could leave a little bit of spine right there, but it would make it too long and it's already cut, so it's going to go down to the crack or the fold. It's not really a crack. It's not open. Okay, but anyway, you get the, you get the, what I'm saying here. Okay, so it's going to be like this, and I'm going to stitch, I'm going to do one side at a time. I'm going to stitch this side first. No, actually, I don't have to do that because I have two sides. Yeah, I want to stitch them together. It's much faster, and it will look nicer. And I don't know if I'm going to do a zigzag or if I'm going to do a straight stitch on these. I want it to be very secure, so I'm thinking a straight stitch would hold better, but then I might add a zigzag for a, de a decorative thing. Okay, so this is page one and one, and then it will, they'll all fold into each other too, just like you would any other paper. I'm hoping all this goes well. Never done it before, so we're learning something new together, hopefully. So here is uh, the mint green and pink. And this is like a polka dot, the old timey polka dots. Now, some of this pay, some of this book has double sides, and this particular one does, because I was going for pastels, florals, and then the one blue, uh, which, believe it or not, was hard to find because blue is one of those things, you know. Anyway, so here you go. That's the front. This is the back. Now, this is the third page, which is really the sixth piece of cardstock. The cardstock will be double in this book. Okay, so this is the uh, the pale yellow. I did it in a 
a green trim. It's going to have the yellow on this side, but no dots. And then this is the back. Okay, so we're going to put that right there. They're trying to fall out because I haven't got them sewed yet. And here I did pink on pink, but it's a different print. Um, and then it's going to be pink on this side and white on this side. And the thing is, is this is one print, this is one print, and this is one print. So I like the way that turned out. And so it will fold over like that. Now, this is going to be the center of the signature. And we always turn it in on itself. And so I did the same thing on this. I turned it in on itself. And this is going to be the inside of the signature. I just thought it looked real Easter-like. Uh, but not all of the papers are pastel. You know, I did pastel. I mixed it up. I just mixed it up. This is going to be the inside of the back cover. So I'm going to move it over there. I just wanted something when you open the book it would pop. And there's flowers around the outside of the book that are in this color scheme. Are real close. So here is the, the first page of the second signature. Two different prints. Let's see what's on the back. Oh, the same print. Okay, so that's first page of signature two. And here is the second page. Okay, and it's a different print on the back. Okay, and we've got three different prints on this yellow. And then the ruffle again with a mint. And the back is polka dots. And here's the, the center section for the back. You can see it's all white. And I did, believe it or not, I folded this in. This is the, the polka dot. This is the back side. But we're going to open it up for the second paper in the center. All of the little dots in the middle of the flowers are the colors that we're using in this book. So it, it ended up really cute. So, I'm going to set these over here, and um, these will be the first thing I glue in, but I'm going to start working on um, getting all, all the pages inked, and that will take me a full day. Uh, but I do want to show you, let's put this as Easter book number one. I want to show you Easter book number two and the papers, because... I won't be doing it with each video. Easter book number two. No, this is Easter book number three. I'm sorry. No, nope, number two. I may decide to do the little golden book in between these two so it can kind of break them up. So we'll see. This one is The Tale of Benjamin Bunny. And we all know that it's a pop-up also. So I'll type the story out. I'm going to try to use some of these little images. I don't know how successful I'll be. But we can try. Okay. And it's going to have a pink spine. Got to shake it up a little bit. I haven't even trimmed this, the yucky off of this one. But it's going to have a pink spine. Okay. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to set the book over. And this is going to be, it's going to be cut a certain way so that I get you know, the, the um, daffodil inside. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to put it, I'm going to hold it over here so you can, well, you can't really tell because it's got this pop-up. But I'm going to bring it down to about right here so this part won't be in the picture. But it have it on the inside of the spine here. And then when you do it on the other, on the back side, it will have it over here. Can you see that, guys? Let me make sure. If you don't mind, I'm going to check to see if I'm in frame. <laughs> All right. And then here we go. So uh, that is where those two will go. And um, I'm going to set these two papers aside because they're the cover, inside cover. This is the first page in the book of Signature 1. 
And the back side of this one will be this. It's kind of a blue and pink little rosettes. The second page is going to be this pink, which is almost, it is so pink. It's such a different pink that you could add a little bit of lavender in there. And this is lavender on the other side of this. Okay. And then we've got this little floral with little tiny baby tulips. The paper is a pale pink. And uh, the flowers are a little bit darker pink. Now, I don't know why that's ending up the same. What's the deal? Okay, maybe I haven't added the next set of papers to this. But this is primarily the colors they will be. So, yeah, that's five pages there, which is five of the ten. And there'll be similar papers in there. I'm sorry, you guys. I thought I had added these. I didn't discover it till after I put the three kits together. But my grandson, Charlie's here, so I've been a little distracted. Okay, and then here's... This would be the center on the first one. I don't know. I may change that up. You never know. And then these two would go together here. And then you've got the polka dot. Um, and I'm going to put the this pink on the back of it. And this was going to be the center. So you can see these are all nice, really soft pastels. Except for that. That's on the... On, picked up by accident there. So this is kind of the color scheme, or it is the color scheme. It's more pinks, and that's why the spine was pink. And, um, you know, it it's pretty much pinks and pale lav lavender. Um, it doesn't have the, other than the daffodil, it doesn't have any yellow in it. But see, there's a little bit of blue here and a little bit of green. This looks like, almost like a, a watercolor background and and this could give you extra journaling space too okay so that's book number two and I'm going to grab book number three which I wanted to do different I wanted not to do bunnies this time and so I ended up doing a little duck You know, you can do chicks, you can do ducks. Uh, I've got all this other stuff here that, um, let me get this paper off of here. There we go. This is some of the, this is the spine. And where did the fabric go? Here's the fabric. Goes with this little fuzzy duck. You know, when I was a kid, we would either get a duck a baby chick or a bunny. And then later, when we were older, dad would get them and they'd be different colors. I know, crazy, right? Okay, so this is a little golden book, which I haven't cleaned up yet, but I will. It's got some really cute illustrations, so this book will be put together like any other book. Now, when we start this book, which I think is gonna be after, the, I think it's really gonna end up being book two, um, there's some little piggies. Um, I like the illustrations in it. And again, this is not an Easter book. None of them are Easter books. Look how big the print is. Uh, let me see if it has the copyright. It was the 19th print printing. It was the 19th print of this, which was in 1982. The original copyright was 1949. Yeah, so this book appears to be very loved. It's not torn, or none of the pages that I can see have been written on. Um, let me see if the inside of the cover is. Nope. So, Mama kept the pins away. So, this is going to be the spine. When I get ready to take this book apart, I'm going to do a video. I've had... Um, a couple subbies asked me to do that, and um, I like that this is blue. I really base the, the spine off of the duck. I can't remember all the colors that I'm going to use inside because I've been working on these for days, trying to keep them organized. Now, this one, 
is only going to have a total of 10 card stocks, but it will still have other card stock. Okay. This is just a mix of Easter colors. Some of, them, some of them may repeat. So here is this really pretty pink, almost almost looks like a backsplash. <laughs> On the other side, it has this cute little egg shape. You know, never know. Okay, this is page two, which is this really pretty polka dot again. With It's like a, it's by Bedazzle, and it's called Cornmeal. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but anyway, on the other side is the solid yellow. This is from Pink Paisley. I can't remember which one it's from. It doesn't have it written on here. This came out of the paper pad. But I like that it has all the Easter colors and a big primary yellow. Okay, nothing on the back on that one. Here is a really pretty polka dot. Pink with yeah, the white polka dots. Nothing on the back there. This is another Paige Evans. Uh, I'm trying to see if it says on here, Pink Paisley. Hmm, it doesn't say which one of the Pink Paisleys it is. This was not out of a paper pad, but that's the back. Here is the front. So this one is about pastels. Now, that was, let me see what page that was. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this was this is the center on signature one. Now, here is the first one. It was the same one we saw back before. Look at these cute little pink hearts. How adorable. Nothing on the back. And then I wanted to throw some blue in because we didn't have any blue in the first one, not really. And and then I I and it's pink on the back, so that works even better. And then here's that yellow polka dot again, and here's the center. I used both of those papers in each signature. So this is the little golden book, what I'm calling the little Easter golden book. Um, I think it turn, it's going to turn out so adorable. And I'll put it all back together there. Put your little yellow duckling fabric. <laughs> and this was just extra for a, maybe like a flip. And this is some of the embellishments. Um, I am going to do a different size spine on this because it's not going to have doubled the paper like the other one. So we'll go from there on that. All right, guys, this is a short video. It's a Saturday night and I have Charlie. So I'm going to let you go for now. And um, hopefully tomorrow I'll have time to start the first book if I have time to get it all inked. If not, it'll be uh, Monday. But I do have a doctor's appointment Monday. I have to get my second injection, allergy. So, we'll just have to see what happens from there. All right, guys. It was so good just to step in and say hello. I hope you're having a great Saturday. And, um, yeah. So, I'll see you when we get started on these. And um, I think we'll do this, this uh, the Telepeter Rabbit first. And this one second. And then the Tele Benjamin Bunny third. Um, and if we have a lot of time, I have one more. I also have a custom order to do in here somewhere, too, but she wasn't in a hurry. So I thought we'd do the Easter series and then, you know, and do the do a page and do her book. And so um, we've, we, we're busy right now. <laughs> we have books to do. So if this these three Easter books do not... Are not enough for everybody and if I have time I have some other bunny books so we'll go from there all right guys if you haven't subscribed I hope you will to see this whole adventure and um, and then if you really if you liked what we're about to do give me a thumbs up and let me know that you're you think this is going to be a good series and um, leave a comment I'd love to hear from you um, even if it's just short and sweet. 
All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.